Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Um, okay, I'll be showing you on how to find the volume of a frustum pyramid. What is a frustum pyramid? Simply a pyramid that has been chopped off. So if you can see on top here, uh, the top part of the pyramid has been cut. Alright, so uh, how do we find the volume of that pyramid? Not very difficult. We'll, we'll first uh, try to find the height of the full or finished pyramid. The way this height is supposed to be before the pyramid has been chopped off or the top of the pyramid has been chopped off so if you can see nicely the height of the first term is eight meters that's a height of the first term what about the height of the full finished pyramid that's what we need to find what I'm talking about is this the pyramid has been chopped somewhere here so we need to find the height of the finished pyramid up to the top here we have only been given the height from the bottom to where the chop has been done okay this is how you find the height of the finished pyramid we know that this is a square pyramid looking at these signs, this sign and this sign, as well as this sign and this sign. They are showing us that this is a square pyramid. So this is what you do for you to find the finish or the height of the top pyramid, which is a smaller pyramid. We are going to use the, uh, the idea of uh, similarity and congruence. That's the idea we're going to use. All right, so how do you go about this? This is what you do. You say, okay, uh, okay, we'll say the, the height that we don't know from here to there, we call it, we'll do this, we'll call it X. We'll call that height as X. So we're going to say, x which is the height that we don't know over 6 where is this 6 coming from it's the base of the smaller pyramid or where the pyramid has been chopped off all right so Okay, again, come and say x plus 8 over 10. Oh, this is what we are doing here. We just want to find the height of the smaller pyramid. So, this x is the one of put, divided by the side of the base, smaller base, which is 6, is equal to x plus 8 which is the height of the finished pyramid over the base or the side of the base one side of the bigger base which is this one so i've gotten 10 there so when we solve nicely we cross multiply there we have 10 is equal to i mean 10 x is equal to 6 x plus 48. Thereafter, we group the like terms together. We have 6 crossing the equal sign, 48 remaining there, 4x when we solve here, we have 4x, and then there 8, 48 I mean, divide by 4 throughout the value of x will be equal to 
that's the value of x. So our x here is equal to 12, meaning the height of the smaller pyramid is 12 meters. So we have what we want. So in order for us to find the, the volume of this thruster, we're going to find the volume of the finished pyramid minus the volume of the smaller pyramid. Hope it will make sense. All right, so what's the height of the finished pyramid? Let me put it like this. Height of the finished pyramid is 20. I've just gotten 8 plus 12. It gives us what? 20 meters. So in order for us to find the volume, the volume will say, volume of the bigger pyramid. This is a formula. Alright, so it's volume is equal to 1 over 3 area of the base times height. Being the square base, what is the formula for finding the area of the base? Or of the square it will just be 10 squared 10 squared so we we'll say 1 over 3 the area of the base we we'll just say 10 squared times the height of the bigger pyramid is 20 so when we solve we we'll work out our calculations nicely here we'll get 100 times 20 over 3 what is 100 times 20 100 times 20 is 2000 divide by 3 get something right like six 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 point six or six to six point six seven meters cubed what have we just found here is the volume of the bigger pyramid but in order for us to find the volume of the smaller pyramid sorry the volume of the thruster we need first to find the volume of the smaller pyramid and subtract it from the volume of the bigger pyramid so the volume of the smaller pyramid will be volume is equal to 1 over 3 area of the base times height. The area of the base, we know here it's a square base and this is 6, so we'll just say 6 squared. 6 squared times the height, which is 12. We we'll have 36 times 12 over 3. When we do the calculations nicely, we we'll get something like this. 144. So, this 144 meters cubed is the volume of the smaller pyramid, which is on top. So after doing that, we have both volumes. So we're going to say the volume of the bigger pyramid will be volume 1. Volume of the smaller pyramid will be volume 2. So we'll say volume 1 minus volume 2. Volume 1 is 6, 66. 
0.667 minus 144, which is the volume of the smaller pyramid. When we do our calculations nicely, we are going to get something like this. 5, 20, 2.667 meters cubed, which is the volume of the first dam. Thank you very much. Subscribe from my YouTube channel if you want to be watching more videos of such kind. I just want to be helping people who are writing GCE as well as those who are in grade 2 trying to write their exams. Thank you very much.